on guys, this is Jacob Vile. Today I'm gonna to be able to show you what the score is that I meter on the dash, glass, kick, etc. So do a little bit of testing real quick so you can see, hey, what is my single 10 meter currently? Uh, a little bit more testing to do, I'm sure, as well as tuning and some fine tuning things. But I'll go ahead and show you, hey, this is the way that I personally um, find out what my peak is using just a frequency response sweep and then find out the peak and then just do burps that way. So. Stay tuned throughout this video. I'm going to be showing you what it meters. Sealed on glass, I'll do a kick score and then I'll do a window down. We'll see how things vary. So, single 10. And the other videos you saw. So, let's see how it does. Alright, so I got the meter up there. Right now I'm going to start with sealed. So we'll start with the sealed score on the glass just because. Um, so we'll start with low volume. That way we know what the peak is. So we'll go to test tones and do, make sure bass knobs all the way up. Let's see here. Do a sweep real quick. This sweep's gonna find out what the tuning is or where I peak at. All right, so I peak at 52 hertz. So keep in mind that this score is probably gonna be maybe a dB or two less, I would say, than full potential of it. Normally you have two to three dB range you can gain or lose, depending on, hey, how the temperature is, what kind of placements you can do and improvements on your enclosure, even tuning. So, I mean, it could be more or less than that, but I was also playing on the way here, so the coil's a little hot. All right, so it's sealed. Let's see how it does. That uh, single 10 in a ported enclosure. All right. Let me turn it up. You'll probably hear it clip a little. I don't know, I've never really done this before. I'm um, still gotta learn my system, so I kinda do videos as I learn, instead of doing it prior, so it's all pre-before, in other words. All right, let's see here. So 52 hertz. All right, we'll do it slowly, fall in. I guess it was taking all the power, so a little over a 144 sealed at 52 hertz. So that's not bad. So, all right, now we'll do window down. So keep in mind that guys, I went from 160s, 415 watts to just a single 10. So my personal goal out of this is if I can get a 45 dB on glass, I'm happy. So a single 10 doing mid 40s on music, realistically is all I want. I don't need to have a 150 or 155 or anything. I'd say substantial for just a single subwoofer 10, a small cone, probably a mid 40 is a good range for a good goal for a single small 10. So that's my opinion. And of course I want it to be musical so I can still play it down into like mid to low 30 hertz range without issues. All right, anyway, I'll stop talking. Let me go ahead and turn this down so I can find out my next one. Window down on the glass. So we'll find out real quick what it peaks at. So the first one was a 44.1 sealed. All right, and I was playing on the way here, so it could be maybe a DB. I'd say it's probably a 45 sealed on the dash, so. All right, well, there's no dash here, but on the glass. All right, now let's find out the peak. So we'll find out real quick what it peaks at with it. Window down. So this is what you want to do with your meter and your system. Do sweeps and find out what it peaks at. All right. So I peaked at 53 hertz. So now let me turn it up. I control my volume through my Bluetooth iPod instead of my bass knob. So I can roll into it slowly that way. We'll see how it does. I'll do 54 volume instead of 56. I didn't like that 56. I think I had it, uh, the gain and all of that I still got to tune to. So this is all just trial and error and having fun. Sharing the system with you guys on the second channel, Jacob Viral 2. All right, so let's do 53 hertz. 
Let's find out how it does. Come on. All right, 53 hertz, let's see. Coil's definitely hot, so it didn't do as good as it did sealed. So I actually went down about 0.7 dB with the window down. So that means I'm peaking a little better sealed than I am actually with the window up. So anyway, so since that's the case, I guess I meter louder sealed. Some systems do that, guys. So, which is interesting to see. All right, now let's do kick score real quick. Just because some people like to know, hey, what is a kick score? Why not? Let's do it. All right. The peak could change too. So the frequency could change when you do it. Kick score. So you always want to redo your sweep real quick. And the coils are already hot. I know the sub is only rated at, I think, 1,750 RMS. It's probably seeing over 2K. I'm saying run it wired at half ohm after clamped results. My voltage doesn't really drop. So I'm sure it's not liking the power. It's only a two and a half inch coil. So it's not... It's not going to handle too much more, I wouldn't think. Unless you guys can give me feedback on that in the comments. All right. Let's see. Do a sweep real quick. Find out what my peak is again. And a kick. I'm going to guess 52 hertz, but that's just me. so 52 hertz we'll see how it does so let's see i didn't like the way that sounded so i'm going to do 52 volume instead of 54 it didn't sound so good and i'll roll into it this time with the ipod all right let's see 52 hertz kick score yep it did not like that uh, it seemed like the sub might be getting hot or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Kick score wasn't even as good either. So that shows once you get your subwoofers a little warm, the coils don't like it. It doesn't react the same. So there's things that you can you can notice that once you start hammering your system, it's not good to go on the competition lanes. But anyway, doing mid 40s with single sub, no testing. Of course, I got to mount the box down, locate it do lots of more other things to it and stay tuned for more videos from my second channel Jake and Vile 2 as I share more info about the build so I just hope you guys learned something from this stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you on the next one later